we have learned the hard way like mm. no nigerian will ever support that as it's just one of the few persons i know mm -hmm. like he's rich living in abuja and living in his own mansion. mansion so what do you have to say about nigerians creating content in ghana hmm. you know i actually went to check on google okay ghanaians in nigeria creating content I because he is from yoruba yeah he has, he has come to my state and he was able to eat and enjoy my food and he's and telling he me that he enjoys it. then i will not be fighting him a ghanaian said they call sponge sapo in my village sponge is sapo are you serious how come sponge sapo. yes sponge hey. they're using washing plate or baiting you want to call sponge mm. it's called sapo i say ah Sponge is called Sapo. They said yes. Wow. Guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. I'm still here with this adorable lady. In case you've not seen the interview, check my channel for it. Mm -hmm. so today we are going to share things we wish we knew mm -hmm. before coming to Ghana and deciding to live here. Mm -hmm. Hit the like button and don't forget to share, don't forget to comment. So be fair, you're welcome to the show. Thank you. Please don't forget to check our channel out, okay? Now, how do you feel when a crime is committed in Ghana and at the end of the day, you hear that it was committed by a Nigerian? How does it make you feel? I used to feel these people want them to chase us in. <laughs> oh, let me laugh. It's true. <laughs> they want Ghanaians to chase us away. <laughs> and sometimes it's not even just hearing the crime. Mm, mm. Sometimes you see drivers passing and then it's Nigerian plate number and the way they will drive so rough. I'm like, this is not Niger now. This is not Niger. And when they pass, people will not look at Nigeria. Like hey. They will start speaking tree. And, and you will be there. They will and be then you'll, oh God. We so suffer. It make, yes, it makes me feel bad. Because at the end of the day, they'll carry that mindset and come to you. Yes, now. Nah. All, all, all of you are the same. The same. You, you don't know what happened to me recently like because i on my channel i used to joke a lot like dear future husband so there's this mm -hmm. particular some 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 guy that reached out and then the first thing that came to his mind he was telling me how bad nigerians are how nigerians have ruined the reputation of west africans hmm. you know you say a lot of things eh, nigerians will never take correction i was hot you know why for me this is double attacks hmm. this guy is attacking me he's blaming me that's indirectly blaming me now for being in nigeria yes, me no. do you know what i'm dealing with mm -hmm. you as a Ghanaian, you're complaining of what nigerians are doing and it's affecting you have you thought of me mm -hmm. as a nigerian mm -hmm. how, it's how affects it affects me? you it does it does on a very large scale because Seriously. You meet someone for the first time and then say, Where are you from? Nigeria. <laughs> then do not tell you a story of one Nigerian. Hey, God, I beg. So oh. you, have, you have to not start defending ah. yourself, defending ah. the. There was trying to say, prove. Yeah, some will say, But you leave it. You are all the same. <laughs> That's why you will see from the person's facial expression when you're trying to explain. Mm. 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 I, some people will just purposely provoke you to action, like provoke you to act. And then they will blame you. Eh, that's how they are. <laughs> that's how they are. You, you know the one that used to pay me? Eh, eh. When you go to buy something, eh. right? And then you're trying to use English because you cannot speak the truth. So mm. you're trying to use English to tell the person, oh, I want to buy this. And then they are being reluctant. Mm. And you're like, ah, madam, do now. You'll get angry. Eh. Then you're not here in Nigeria inside eh. the tree. And, that and you don't understand speaking. what the person is saying. understand. <laughs> I'm like, madam, I've been standing here. You are not responding to me. Uh, uh, and then they'll use Nigeria eh, to insult you. Uh, it's just like eggs, anyways. Mm, when there's like a bad one, bad on the one, the other one, you don't trust it. You believe it's, it's also bad, right? I really part. want to ask. I really want to ask people about where this Ghana must go came from. Okay, because I have this feeling that some Ghanaians got hurt. When Nigerians chased Ghanaians away from mm, from Ghana, you think you think they are hurt, I think, right? I think some people are hurt because of that. And I, I really want to interview someone or maybe ask someone the reasons why that thing it's happened, like that. why okay. they chased Ghana from Nigeria that year. Now we are now in Ghana. Mm. You chased you chased Ghanaians from Nigeria that time. They now came back, put their lives together. together. I think so, there's a lesson there. 
Mm. So I think um, I, I heard that back in the 80s, the Ghanaian government at that time gave for all the foreigners to leave Ghana. Ghana. Gave about three, three months, which is enough time for you to sell your property or do really? whatever, resign from job, close down your business and carry your bag and, and go. Uh -huh. So a lot of foreigners were chased out out of Ghana then. Mm. So the ones was that they pay back. <laughs> uh -huh, that Nigeria own, I don't know if it was a payback, pay back. but where people frown at it is that the Nanja own they didn't give enough time. Mm. Yeah, according to history, but that history I, I heard it online here, so I don't really know if it's fact. Yeah, if it's fact. So there was not enough notice for Ghanaians to go. I think the, the Shagari government, is it Buhari or Shagari? Shagari government gave mm -hmm. only two weeks. If you have a house, you can't sell it within two weeks. If you have a, a business, there's no how you can sell it off bef within two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. So I think, and I think that is why that must have been. Yeah, that must have that could mm -hmm. mm -hmm. forgive us. Mm -hmm. Forgive us, eh? Have mercy, mercy on us. Just not the person you're dealing with, because I cannot judge Ghanaians just because I had I had Ghanaian friends in Nigeria. Okay. Yes. A lot, do you know that a lot of that, and you know. It's Ooh. not. It's. I you know, know. In Nigeria, it's easy for you to live in as an and as a foreigner. And you and nobody. Will, the only way they will know you are you are a foreigner is if you are white. Yes. Yeah. Hey, that would you will be noticed. You won't. Nobody. We have too many culture. Yes. Too many tribe. For, for you, us which one will dictate? Yes. Me now, do you know where? I'm, when I tell you my own, did you know it? You, You've yes, not heard it before, exactly. right? Exactly. So I, I think in Ghana, it's easy for them to dictate. Identify this you. For yeah. You. It's easy yes. To be. But let me be honest. A lot of people that witness that um, Ghana must go era mm. in Nigeria. Mm. Some of them used to be on my channel, and some are still here. They don't have any problem. Hmm. They don't have any problem. I'm telling you the truth. They don't have any hate for any Nigerian. People that feel that way, some of the people that hate you unnecessarily, sometimes you'll be wondering why. It's so real. Some people have relationships, fake relationships with Nigerians. That is why I was telling my former we Nigerians, neighbor. Don't we have fake relationships with I was telling my former neighbor, every day when I'm passing, I will see you in this guy's room. Hmm. When you guys broke up, I don't want to hear you. I don't mm -hmm. want to start hating. I don't know why you're dating this guy. Do you, mm -hmm. you know this guy? The way you're going with this, your love story. Mm -hmm. When he break up, don't come and start hitting on me. Uh -huh. and she was, she was like laughing. <laughs> I think some people it has to do with that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with how a Nigerian has treated, treated, them. treated them. But we, how can I take responsibility? <laughs> Yes, for that. someone's inactions, like what someone did. And I also believe, sense. strongly believe that, right? And right, I strongly believe that the, the, there is no, the government of Ghana and the government of Nigeria ca will never be allowed to repeat that again. again. It's, I'm not sure it will yeah. happen again. Ghanaians are going to rise against it. Majority of Ghanaians will Even Nigerians will. will. Uh, that one, I don't even want to go there. You know Nigerians that one? Will. You know, you know we have learned now. I don't, I'm talking about Ghana because yes, yes. we have learned the hard way. Like mm. No Nigerian will ever support that. It was not us, that generation. They, have, generation. they have gone. Forgive they don't have the them. power again. Forgive, Forgive us. Eh? Like I, I used to say that no economy in Africa is stable at the moment. So mm -hmm. we have to stay humble. And we have learned the hard way, you know. We have to stay humble, knowing that don't, we, we, we can't be saying, oh, hey, Nigeria is good today, so we can show ourselves. Or Ghana is great now, we can show ourselves. Because you don't know tomorrow with Africa. You see Africa, with the leadership in Africa, you can never tell what tomorrow will be. I feel mm. no matter the country you come from, even in the US, there are mm. people that are suffering dead. I mean, mm. Mm. born US citizens. Whether you go to America, you go to yeah. Canada, you come to Nigeria, you go to Ghana. You see, I just believe, I just believe where God wants to bless you must not be where you come from. Exactly. We have Nigerians in Ghana mm -hmm. doing absolutely well yeah flourishing yeah, yeah. and we I have Ghanaians so. in Ghana 
that cannot compete with Nigerians in Ghana. We also have Ghanaians. I know a Ghanaian in Abuja that owns a we house. We also have Ghanaians in Nigeria that hmm. are doing absolutely it's a well. Big, like it's a nah, rich man. And there are Nigerians one, there suffering. That one is not coming back home. The, like it's a rich man in Abuja. This is just one of the few persons I know. Mm -hmm. Like he's rich, living in Abuja and living in his own mansion. mansion. One thing I want to say. Yes, please. Nigeria and Ghana, husband and wife. <laughs> because you cannot explain to me why uh, uh, Ghana, Nigeria, but they are the same people that love themselves the most in but West why? Africa. Hey, have you thought about it? Like, it? Well, it's normal, like you and your siblings. Do you, you have siblings? You yes, have I do. Yes. Do you have this particular one that follows you direct? <laughs> As if that is the most annoying one. Like, especially if it's the same gender with you. <laughs> you will always have issues. Jesus. You will always but don't, they love. Don't try. Don't try to don't talk come between one. them. No, no, no. no. You're in See, Ghana so avoid. We ignore Cameroonian. Yes, yeah, so we ignore everything. <laughs> we ignore them. everything they do. They will ignore. But when Nigeria, they will come for us. Could it's I the think. love. I feel it's love. You think so? Do you think I it's love? I feel it's you know some people their love is always toxic. Let me put it that way. Why? That's the way Nigeria and Ghana love. Is. <laughs> see, because, because when it comes to football, mm. when it comes to movies, you see more of Nigerian Ghanaians watching Nigerian movies. And music. Me. You hear Ghanaians playing Nigerian music. You go if to Nigeria, Nigeria you so hear, much, you will never. They, they, won't even, they, won't, they don't even want to know where this person is from. They are enjoying the music. Mm -hmm. Why can't we just flow like that? I wish, I wish that one like day now, right? mm -hmm. we'll get to that point we'll where, we, yes, where we'll be so close so that uh, we'll not be looking at I'm from here and yes. from there. So what do you have to say about Nigerians creating content in Ghana? Hmm. You know, I actually went to check on Google. Okay. Ghanaians in Nigeria creating content. I didn't really see a lot of people. I didn't really see okay, a lot, see of, a lot YouTubers, of YouTubers. Okay. Like Ghanaian YouTubers that reside in Ghana creating content. Maybe they are not so interested in things like that. But we have a lot of YouTubers in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if, just like the way I came from, Nigeria to Ghana and then I'm now creating content. Mm -hmm. I'm now mm -hmm. part of the Nigerian YouTubers in Ghana. Do you get? So and of course the Nigerian population is very high. Okay. So if 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 two percent of Ghanaians are doing something and two percent of Nigerians are doing something, the number for Nigerians would be very high. So it would mm -hmm. be as if the Nigerians are more doing right. The same. Do you understand? So it's just the same thing. There are still Ghanaians doing yeah, YouTube. But, uh, let's say but they, they, the may population, not, they are not doing YouTube, like per se, YouTube, YouTube. But we have a lot of Ghanaians living in Nigeria that are into the entertainment industry mm -hmm, that are doing mm -hmm. well. Me, I didn't even know they are Ghanaian. You wouldn't she, know. Yeah. You wouldn't know. Yeah. Uh, this guy, uh, what, what a bomb. What a bomb. There's one comedian that is doing very well. Do you know him? No. He's doing maybe I've well. seen him before, but I don't know. Yeah, you definitely may have you may have seen him. Mm -hmm. You may have seen him. He's doing very well. He's a Ghanaian. Mm. Doing absolutely well in Nigeria. I think it has to do with what you said. I agree. We are because of our numbers, but when you, you wouldn't really notice a, a just drop of us, I mean a few drop of Nigerians are doing something to be to as be if it's lot. big, yeah. So yeah. but do you think it's a good idea that people we are doing that? We yes. are living in Ghana and creating content around Ghana. We are promoting Ghana. I don't. I feel it's not a bad thing at all. If I should see a foreigner go to my country, just like you go to my village, and then you're mm. promoting my village, and I'm seeing it on social ah, media, I'm gonna brag. Me, I even. I want to encourage this, this guy, Opeyemi, mm. the food critic. Yeah, yeah. Opeyemi, you know him, yeah. right? Opeyemi. He went to River State of recent. Yeah, and he posted the post that the River State. Fisherman soup is the best. Yeah. You need to see me that time. I be you were you happy. Know? Uh, but should if I us get soup now, forget. Eh? You understand? Fry, you, you not so, us for back. I did not go there and say, ah, uh ah, -uh, you will not stay in your Yoruba land eh. and do your own thing. It's what what doesn't what does it mean? Like, doesn't, a foreigner has come like a foreigner in yeah. Nigeria because he is from Yoruba. Yeah. He has, he has come to my state and he was able to eat and enjoy my food and he's and telling he me that he enjoys it. then i will not be fighting it no. doesn't make any sense so about it's just like there is no how there are Ghanaians that have done you bad thing before but you will not mm -hmm. judge Ghanaians, I can the whole never. of Ghanaians, I can never. based on never. one experience mm. we are one 
my one of my plea will be let's stop all this ghana nigeria togo we are one they just use border to divide us mm -hmm. the border they have yeah fixed, we are the one okay put into you know demarcate us and then we mm. are feeling we are different from each other we are all one we are all the same i was telling a ghanaian said they call sponge sapo in my village sponge is sapo are you serious how come sponge sapo. yes sponge hey. they're using washing plate or baiting you want to call sponge mm. it's called sapo i said ah Sponge is called Sapo. They said yes. Wow. And then my sister told me some time ago that in our village back then, they mm. used to, they used to um, play Ghanaian music those days. Then that means there's something between even my village. Yeah, for I, me, I know, about, I know a tribe in Nigeria. Uh, thief. They call them thief. thief. Yes. Do you know, they have... And I've met a Ghanaian lady here in Ghana who said... She told me about that place. If I know, she brought out the swangi. Hmm. The traditional way. Where? Say this is say her great grandmother. You say sweet woman, and they have a lot of similarities. Yes, they are. That's the same. They are one. Yes. Mm. And the way the the family kini setting their own family is so alike. This auntie kind of my my sister's daughter auntie 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 thing, uncle uncle uncle. You know. They do that a lot over there. They value family. Yeah, they value extended family, family. a lot. Then I see, think we need to stop all this banter. Like as in, we are one. We, we are, are one. one. Okay. Trust me. Okay. okay. So be fair. Thank you for coming. Thank again. you. Too, all right. Me. So guys, don't forget to check her out. Let's take her to 1K. Please. All right. 1K and beyond. I trust you now. 1K <laughs> and beyond. Show her the. See, real Ghanaians go. They support you. They go. Oh, they don't yeah. even want to visit. My, my fans are Ghanaians. Me, I'm so sitting. I, I'm still in Ghana. It's because of Ghanaians. Yes, my fans are Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. Like they are the real support system. They support you. Eh? All right, guys. Thank you so much thank for watching. You. I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.